<coughs> dad noises. I just make dad noises now. I turned 24 and I started to make dad noises and I hate it. My body's just shutting down. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. You want me to hit tattoo here and well, as you can see in the title today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to some of my old practice skins. So before we get into that, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that way you know time I post new videos. So with that being said, let's get started. All right, so like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm gonna be reacting to some of my old practice skins. I want to go ahead and give some backstory. So what practice skin is, is it's something that is used by apprentices. They will tattoo a silicone type material that you can either buy on Amazon or um, on a pound of flesh. It is pretty much to kind of give the apprentice a feeling of what it's like to tattoo skin before they actually tattoo skin. All of these that I'm going to show you are from before I was even an apprentice. This was more when I was a scratcher. This was when I got a tattoo machine kit from Amazon. So I was an excited 17 year old. I was very feisty and full of life. And I asked my mom, I was like, hey, for my 17th birthday, I really, 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 really want to start getting into tattoos. Can you please get me just like a tattoo machine kit from Amazon? Like, please, 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 please. And my mom was like, like she really didn't want me to be a tattoo artist. She was like, um, I guess, but you're still going to school and you're still getting a degree and you're not dropping out and you're not going to be a tattoo artist. It's just a hobby, but I'll buy it for you. And I was like, okay, whatever. So like I said, my mom bought me a tattoo machine kit from Amazon and it usually comes with a coil machine and a liner supposedly, but they're just really crappy. I assembled these tattoo machines and I don't think that they were assembled correctly. They definitely weren't. You know, at the point I was like, I watched Ink Master. I know what's going on. So here's my very first tattoo. This practice skin is so flimsy, so cheap, so off Amazon. And you can tell the quality of it very bad. Just like the quality of this tattoo. This was my first attempt at line work. I was thinking to myself, okay, you know, if I'm gonna be on Ink Master one day, or if I'm gonna, you know, start to tattoo, I've gotta learn how to do a rose. And this was my first attempt at a rose. This was this was not good. So then I moved on to my second attempt, right? I'm like, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some shading in there, okay? Sure, those lines were a little bit busted. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put a little shading, okay? Just a little. <laughs> This is so, 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 so bad. Okay, this looks like a cover-up. This is very chewed up and bad. I attempted shading. This was the first attempt at it. And there's a reason why I was not tattooing people. I was not in a tattoo shop. I was not a licensed tattoo artist. I just had a tattoo kit from Amazon, but at least I was tattooing practice skin and not people. Okay, we'll just, we'll just keep that in mind. So now I had my first two attempts at doing these roses. None of them are good. I did the same rose and I was like, Pfft. On Ink Master, they always talk about like skin breaks. So I'm gonna leave some skin breaks, okay? Like it's just like paper, okay? So I'm just like, it's it's gonna be better. It is better than what you just saw, but still not good. I at least left some skin breaks, okay? There was some sort of attempt at me giving petal dimension. Mind you, I drew very well at this time. So me doing these, I was very disappointed in myself um, because I had this expectation from the beginning, you know, I'm not gonna have any bad tattoos. I'm only gonna produce good stuff and all this and all that. Very delusional, very delusional. But I had to tell myself that. I'm gonna get better. Okay, I'm gonna get better. So when I moved from roses, I was like, ah, what's, what's something else like a tattoo that is, that is something an apprentice should learn how to do? I'm gonna do a banger that's traditional. I'm gonna do a dagger. I should have stabbed myself with this. This is bad. <laughs> This little choke knife. You could also see I was starting to practice hearts and infinity sign because I figured when I started my apprenticeship, like when I eventually got there, I was gonna be tattooing literally the sickest stuff ever, which is infinity signs and hearts. Crazy. Definitely still not at a shop at this point. You would have thought I progressed, right? I'm learning more about death. The design's gonna be better. So it may it may not look as bad, right? Until I kind of start doing this. If this was a person, th that person would be in agonizing pain. This is so like scarred, chewed, like my hand fits through it. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, um, okay. I don't want to rip it more than it was already ripped, but bad. I will say the shading is a little bit smoother. I was trying to like really feel the machine and mind you, Amazon tattoo machines not running correctly, not knowing anything about coils, 
not knowing anything about tattooing. Also, these are also very difficult to tattoo on. I'm gonna go ahead and say that. They're so thin and ink gets all over them. I'm kind of curious. I wanna apply my knowledge to today, like me tattooing today, to stuff I was doing back then. I think I'm gonna do a video with these practice skins, trying a design on there to see if I've grown, to see if it's how difficult it is. Cause I remember this being difficult to tattoo on. Maybe I'll use a pound of flesh cause tattooing on a pound of flesh is way better. It is so much better quality and I wish that I had access to a pound of flesh when I was that early on in tattooing, but I did not because I did not make any money. All right, so now we're moving towards the end. I've only got a few more practice skins left. I showed you my black and gray, or what I thought black and gray was, right? I showed you that. I had this misconception early on in my career that I thought I was gonna be a color artist. And don't get me wrong, I enjoy doing color tattoos. I wish I did more color tattoos, but for the most part, I do black and gray. So I wanted to do a color tattoo. And my tattoo set came with two colors, or it came with a few colors. It came with red, green, yellow, black. And I was like, okay, what can I use that has green? Frankenstein, really bad. This is a really bad drawing, really bad tattoo, really bad application. It looks like a shrunken head. If I was doing shit like this today, now let's go ahead and fast forward. Now I'm in a tattoo shop, okay? All of this before, this was kitty shit, okay? This was before I was even in a tattoo shop. This is when I officially got into a tattoo shop and this is before I tattooed my very first person. I have a few videos on my YouTube channel showing you my first tattoo and it is not good, but it was the best I could do at the time. So before I did that tattoo, I made sure that I practiced the hell out of it so I could get muscle memory, so I could not execute a bad tattoo. That was my goal from the very beginning was, okay, yeah, these suck, but when I actually start to tattoo, that's real shit. I practiced my very first tattoo a few times on practice skin. The first tattoo I ever did was a little cholo dude that I did on my homie Vinny. I tell him all the time, I'm like, bro, I did that fucked up tattoo on you, but I practiced, okay? I practiced day and night. I did a few of them. There are a few more, I couldn't find them. Honestly, comparatively to all of the other ones that I showed you throughout this video, this is not that bad. Um, it is a little bit better. The shading is a little bit better directional. The line works a little bit cleaner, but it's still bad. Vinny is still my brother. He is my best fucking friend. I love Vinny to death and he is a ride or die. He allowed me to do my very first tattoo on him and for that I'll forever be grateful. And at that moment, I really did think I was gonna quit tattooing, to be honest. Like, I looked at that and I was like, fuck, should I even be doing this? And I thought that a lot of times, okay? You know, and after all of these tattoos, I thought to myself, Am I doing the right thing? I was definitely picking myself apart too much. Um, and I'm very glad that I stuck with tattooing because now I am where I am. I'm doing way better work, way better tattoos. And this is a, just a part of my journey, okay? This is just a part of my growth. Before we end this video, I wanna go ahead and give you some advice. If you are an aspiring artist, tattoo artist, apprentice, as artists, we hold ourselves to such high standards. Though it is important to look at your work and be critical of it, be kind to yourself, and realize that it is just a step in your growth. This is only a beginning, okay? You may not have a great tattoo. You may have some tattoos that you look back at and you're like, damn, I don't really like this tattoo. Grow from it. Learn what you don't like, and apply it to your next tattoo. That's all you can do is hold your head up high and keep moving forward. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave you with that. Thank you again so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Later.